on, Rocco, it's not what you think. Sure, I got it all twisted. I suppose you never meant to double cross me. Honest, Rock, I swear. Oh, I should have known I could never trust a dame like you. But baby, I love you. Who, who are you talking to? You, Rock, I'm talking to you. Then look at me. I am looking at you. Oh, that's it, touch. You've crossed the line. She hasn't crossed the line, but the camera has. The stage line. Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Welcome to Pocket Film School, your handy internet guide to better filmmaking. Today, we're going to talk about the so-called stage line. Gee, Professor, what's a stage line? I'm glad you asked that, darling. Unless you're shooting a scene all in one shot, you need to also shoot coverage. I heard it, eh? Like uh, close-ups, insights, and whatnot. That's right, Rocco. Your master shot is a big shot where you can see all the action of a scene, and then all the close-ups are the coverage. The stage line helps you know where to put your camera when you're shooting the coverage of a scene. I don't get it. You see, the stage line is an imaginary line that runs between two people in a conversation and infinitely on out behind them. If you want to shoot a scene so it makes sense to people, you need to pick a side of the stage line to shoot from and stick with it. If we shoot a master shot of our scene from this side of the stage line, we establish that Rocco is looking left and Sadie is looking right. Any shot we do from this side of the stage line will have both characters looking at each other. No matter where we go, Rocco is looking left and Sadie is looking right. But if we cut to a shot from the other side of the stage line, suddenly Sadie is looking to the left just like Rocco. Even though in reality they are looking at each other on film, it looks like they are facing the same direction. And that is confusing for everyone. You got that right. I'm sorry, Rocco. I'll never cross the line on you again. It's okay, sugar. It's not your fault. It's that idiot directors. Hey. And that, my friends, is how the stage line works. Oh, hey, Professor, one more thing. Yeah? Why not just zoom in from your master shot to get your close-ups? Then there's no way you're crossing the line. Well, then, because your close-ups would all be profiles, and they would look like shit. <gasps> But that's a topic for our next lesson, The Camera's Catches Mitt. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching Pocket Film School. If you found this the least bit instructive, why not share it with your friends? And check out my channel, Bad Girls Ball. It's a bunch of bad girls having a ball. Speaking of balls, I'm at www.joelbgoodman.com. So check him out and check out Christina and check us out here at Pocket Film School. And if you have any questions about filmmaking, or anything for that matter, please leave them in the comments below. I am here for you. Goodbye.